there are over 100,000 skin cells in one square centimeter of skin. Each of these cells contain close to two meters of DNA, which contain our genetic information. All the genetic material in our body is called a genome. Because our DNA is very long, cells package up their DNA together with proteins known as histones. The DNA and protein complex is known as chromatin. DNA is wrapped around histone proteins, forming repeated units of nucleosomes that look like beads on a string. Chromatin is condensed further to form a chromosome. We have 46 chromosomes in total, stored in the nucleus. The core of one nucleosome is composed of DNA wrapped around a histone octoma that consists of two copies of the major types of histones, H2A, H2B, H3, and H4. This organized DNA protein complex allows the cells to regulate what genes are expressed and when. All the cells in our body contain the same DNA sequence. Skin cells, muscle cells, and liver cells contain the same DNA sequence. Yet all these cells have different structures and functions. The reason is that different cells only use or express certain genes. Within each cell, the DNA and also the histones can be tagged by tiny chemicals that modify gene expression. These chemical tags cause some genes to be turned on and some genes turned off. For example, muscle cells will have genes turned on that a muscle cell requires and will turn off genes that a liver cell requires. Similarly, the liver cell will have genes for muscles turned off and genes that a liver requires turned on. These modifications are known as epigenetic modifications. Epi is Greek for above, above the genes, so modifications above the genes or on the genes. Epigenetic modification brings about lasting changes in gene expression. Let's have a closer look. Here is a normal human cell, and we are pulling out its genetic material. The DNA is wrapped around nucleosomes, which are made up of histone proteins. Coming off the histone proteins, we have histone tails. DNA is made up of a combination of four nucleotides, G for guanine, C for cytosine, A for adenine, and T for thymine. There are two main epigenetic modifications. The first one we will talk about is DNA methylation where a methyl group is added directly to a cytosine residue that exists in a cytosine guanine sequence, or CPG sequence for short. So for example, here we have many CPG sites that make up a CPG island. And here, the cytosine are methylated. The methylation of CPG sites in promoter regions is associated with gene silencing. The second type of epigenetic modification is histone modifications. This is where acetyl or methyl groups are directly added onto histone tails, and this will modify gene expression. For example, histone 3K9 acetylation correlates with transcription activation, and histone 3K27 trimethylation with transcription repression. Genome-wide patterns of DNA and histone modifications or epigenome, are established during early development and are maintained during cell division. In cancer, these patterns are altered and disrupted.